So I don't know if anyone else is guilty of this, but I'm one of those people that don't just have a birthday. I don't even just have a birthday week. I kind of have a birthday month and this has become a tradition over the years and um, I've been feeling really bad for Steven because he doesn't even really ever get a birthday. <laughs> like, Truth. A couple of years ago, he first spent his entire birthday on a bus going from the UK all the way to France. Last year, sticking with the theme of the bus, I'm pretty sure we did an overnight bus that day and we had to celebrate it the day after. Is that right? Yep. Things are changing because I told Stephen while we were in Brighton, I was like, I've planned you a birthday week. And he was so excited. He had no idea what we were doing. And the first thing we did was we jumped on a train and we headed to Bath. So we're currently here in Bath and we've checked in yesterday to our hotel. We're staying at the Queensberry. It is such a beautiful hotel. This is kind of like a pre-birthday thing for Stephen's birthday. And we're staying at the top floor. And this is our big bedroom. This is super nice. We have like a bit of a, a little own lounge room here. I've got a gigantic bed. It's also a Georgian period building. So I like how they've done this. And we've got a nice little view acting like you know what Georgian house period means. <laughs> <laughs> Got a nice little view of Bath over here and speaking of Bath. I know right. This is such a cute bath towel. Look at this. It's like a freestanding bath. It's so nice and it's a gigantic bathroom. A little bit of a circle mirror. Oh I like the mirror. And then yesterday I surprised him with a very nice dinner. So the restaurant here attached to the Queensberry it's called the Olive Tree and it has Michelin star so it means it's fancy right? I'm not exactly sure what that means but if I see Michelin star I'm like okay that must be fancy. It was already a good start if you catch the elevator from your room to the restaurant so didn't have to leave anywhere. <laughs> and then I told Stephen he could choose between getting a five or a seven course dinner. So we went for the five course and you know when you hear those kind of dinners you always think you're not going to be full after and the plates are going to be tiny. You know you fancy. <laughs> this is the little starter. Excuse me with your little chip. Well we've got that five more so of these courses fancy. coming through but cheers wait what is it? I don't know. <laughs> we were so full after and what did you say after your meal? I think that's one of the best meals and I'm not even kidding. He's ever had. I'm not even kidding like because it's a tasting experience more than a meal there were textures and flavors and just food I've never had before. We tried truffles for the first time. Truffles. I know because I've never tried truffles before. Never. I don't even well, know what they taste like but people go on about them right? You might as well try it by itself. Mm. What does it taste like? A mushroom? Okay, fancy. crispy, crispy, fancy, mushy. And then dessert was, I don't know, I felt like just it was a piece of artwork. And speaking of our meal, we couldn't even finish the final course, so we had to get it to go. And I think they're, oh, what did she call it? But I it's think... heat four, which are like fancy chocolates. Do you know what? I'm not even mad that we didn't have it because I get to have chocolate first thing in the morning. And your birthday week is just beginning because this morning we are heading off to do something that I've planned here in Bath. Are you ready? Well, so The weather has officially caught up with us here in UK, but it means this is the perfect morning to go to Bath's famous thermal bath. Yeah, I mean, if you come to Bath, you got to go take a bath, I suppose. <laughs> and it's all part of your birthday week. Yay, Happy birthday Monday. week! <laughs> Seriously, look at the view. We're currently on the top floor. You can just see all of Bath from up here. And then you've got the thermal pool just here. Oh, this is so nice and warm. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we've just come up to the top floor. So this is six levels high and they've got this incredible rooftop pool. And this is all natural thermal waters here in Bath. How cool is this? So cool. So it's like very similar to the thermal bars. Well, the thermal pools that we were doing in Iceland. It's like that same concept. This Except is... we're like surrounded by an old city. We kind of woke up a little bit early. So we we're the first people in the pool. Yay! <laughs> this is so nice. Good birthday present, Bobs. <laughs> I feel nice and relaxed. So this place is called Therme Spa and we were just downstairs and having a little look around and there's all these different types of rooms. So they have like an ice room, steam room. Oh, the steam room. <laughs> instantly fogged up. Ever since I found out that an ice room is a thing, it's literally my favorite room because it just defeats all the purpose of trying to stay warm with the bath. This is so cold here. They have an indoor thermal pool and then of course the outside rooftop thermal pool. But this is such an amazing way to start your day in bath. 
Oh my goodness, I feel so relaxed. I think that was probably a bad idea to do that first thing in the morning because now I just want to go and curl up on our hotel bed and just watch TV. Is a tea kettle, Steve. You don't remember popping past this two years ago? No. You have such a bad memory. Did we come here? <laughs> we did. With oh my, my auntie gosh. and uncle. This is so cool. Look, it's a teapot, but it's like a phone and stuff. And it's a toast. Aww. I like the constable one there. Yeah. Oh, it kind of looks like Fireman Sam, actually. Oh, Alice in Wonderland ones. We've just gone around the corner to the actual heritage Roman bar. So these are the ancient bars. I'm going to go inside and show you guys what it looks like. I didn't expect it, it's like still working. Every time we've been to Roman Baths, it's always been like ruins where this you can actually see it. Like it's all here, it's still filled with water and everything. You can kind of picture what it would have been like. It's kind of cool how we did the modern version of this. This morning, and now we're here looking at the ancient version. Really cool. So it's actually different than what I was expecting. I thought we just came here, saw the pools and left, but it's actually a whole museum exhibit. So you walk around, it's self-guided with like one of these little audio guides and you walk through and they show you how they built it, you know, what it was like back in the day. So it's a whole experience. So definitely put aside some time to enjoy this because I literally just thought we we're gonna walk in here and then walk out. It's like more of an experience. Oh yeah, before you guys even ask, no, you can't swim in these ones and go to the place we went to this morning. So this is where the Romans would make their offerings. I'm throw a coin, ready? You have to make a wish. For a good birthday. <laughs> because of the rainy weather, we've decided to pop into a books shop. I know, the rainy weather makes me want to read. I found my book. It's still raining. <laughs> I love how the little bookshops here, they all have little cafes. And the guy was so into making this coffee. I just realized, so the book I picked up, it's called Notes on a Nervous Planet. And I think it's like about social media and the effects it's having on the world. But um, I just realized that the person that recommended it to me is Hannah, who's from the Michelax, who does a YouTube channel here, which does amazing videos, by the way, you should check them out. But they live in Bath, and we're in Bath. So maybe you're subconscious. I was thinking of her, and then I thought of this book, but yes. Also, I love the irony that for your job, you're on social media and you're reading yeah. up on a book on social media. <laughs> How's the coffee? Is it worth the six to eight minutes it took him to make it? Mm. I no, managed to read it. the first chapter in the Did time you? it took. What do you think? Yeah, really interesting actually. I'm really? glad you picked it up. I want to read it. Alrighty guys, we've come back to our hotel room. We haven't mentioned this probably in like a year on like the YouTube channel, but we actually have a Facebook community group where we chat and talk to you guys. I'll leave the link below if you're not joined already, but that is where we kind of talk to you guys personally, get one-on-one -on -one and really get to know you guys and talk about travel. So make sure you join that group because it is an awesome group and I love you guys. But anyway, we're back in our hotel room and I could not not stay here without having a bath. And this is the coolest bath ever. It's literally got its own feet. Like, that is so British. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have a bath because outside it is just like a gloomy doomy day here in Bath. And oh wow, I just realized as well, I'm gonna have a bath in Bath. <laughs> now I might be getting older, I might be going gray. But the years have made it clearer guys i'm really bad at trying to do sneaky vlogging i don't want steven to hear me right now he's currently in the shower wait i'm really bad because we can never surprise each other and i wanted to surprise him it's actually his birthday today by the way and yeah so he thinks today that we're going on a train and we're heading to wales but we are heading to wales but i've actually organized us something like as like a little surprise so if you watched us last year <laughs> i hope you can't hear me okay so if you watched us last year for our honeymoon, we, I'm like hot. <laughs> okay, um, oh, sorry, I'm nervous. Okay, so if you watched us last year, we took a glamper van in the UK for our honeymoon and I kind of wanted to do that again this year for his birthday. So instead of going to Wales, we're actually going to Bristol and we're going to be picking up a glamper van and we're going to be going on a four day road trip through Wales and he doesn't know that. I currently have a card and I'm going to um, write in it, I guess, the surprise. And I hope you can't hear me right now. <laughs> I'm really bad at surprising people. Hi. 
Happy birthday to you. Finish it on my side. <laughs> Ready? Happy birthday to you. You got me a birthday Look at card. It. Oh. <laughs> Love the cheese factor. Welcome to the 28 Club. That is a great <laughs> start to it. It's a little bit more wrinkly and gassy than the 27 Club, but it's a whole lot more fun. You haven't seen the other side. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's go to Wales in a in a car? <laughs> What's this? Remember, what did we do last year for the honeymoon? You made me drive around in this gigantic car. <laughs> Are you ready to drive in another gigantic car? <laughs> I might lose my mind And I might fall from grace But this love we've made will never I think I've found my birthday cake that I want. I think this is the most beautiful spot in Bath. You got the park just here, you got the abbey over there. Then you have the bridge with the river right in front of you. What you got there? I got your birthday cake, carrot cake. Oh, the best. The best. How pretty is Bath during autumn? Like, look at this park. All the leaves are changing and everything. We were just realizing as well, usually I'm the one that has the autumn birthday, but this year, you can get an autumn birthday. Yeah. I feel weird having like a cold birthday because usually you have it in the spring. Or you didn't even think about it. I don't know. Cheers it to being 28 and being old and wrinkly. And gassy. <laughs> <laughs> and let's try carrot cake. Um, I'm trying the birthday cake first. What are you doing? I'm already. You missed your wish. Okay, you can try it. Everyone's going to judge yeah. me. You try it. Okay. This is true. They should judge you. It's my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Mm. Soon you won't be able to eat all this cake. No, It'll go my straight to your thighs. Resolution birthday resolution is eating what? carrot cake. <laughs> the last time we had carrot cake, it was our wedding. We keep talking about our honeymoon and our wedding lately. I know. We can't get over it, can we? It was good though. <laughs> mm. Alrighty, see you later, Bath. And we're not catching it to Cardiff. We're officially crossing the bridge into Wales. Woohoo! Woo I realise you went on a bridge. Yeah. Across the water. So there's all water all along here, and in front of us is going to be Wales. Welcome to Wales, everybody. I actually wasn't expecting to be coming here in a camper van. <laughs> I think there's going to be a theme with Wales. I didn't know how beautiful it was. Look at this view, guys. We are literally on a cliffside overlooking the ocean. <gasps> This is so cool. So there's two bars that have just been warmed up through fire. Can I light it? Okay, so you need to put it on the fire starter in the middle. The little white thing? Yeah. <laughs> You've already broken the match. <laughs>